Bed bathing is one of the most basic but very important skills that every nurse should know. It plays a vital role in infection prevention if done properly. The principle of bed bath is to start from clean to dirtiest to avoid contamination from one body part to another. Here is the sequence of bed bathing. Start from eyes, nose and ears, face and neck, arms and hands, chest and abdomen, axilla, legs, groin, perineum and genitalia, back, buttocks and rectal area. There are different items that you can use to perform bed bath. In this video, we are going to demonstrate proper bed bathing in ICU setting. Perform hand hygiene. Explain the procedure to the patient and ensure that he agrees to treatment. Clean the surface where you intend to place the clean linens and other items. And the hamper trolley with an appropriate surface cleaning material. Gather the needed equipment. Keep the clean linen away from your body. Remember to place the linens, gown, and other items in a clean and dry surface. Perform hand hygiene and don PPE. Position a waste container close to the patient's bed. Raise the bed to a comfortable working height. Lower the side rails. Seize the patient into a comfortable supine position while maintaining proper body alignment. Place a bath towel over the patient to provide warmth and privacy during the bath. Place soiled linen in a linen bag, keeping it away from your body. If the patient has an IV line and a gown with no snacks, first remove the gown from the arm without the IV line. Then remove the gown from the arm with an IV line. Remove the IV container and line from the pole and slide them through the arm of the patient's gown. Rehang the IV container and re-establish appropriate flow rate if necessary. This is to discourage unnecessary disconnection of lines to maintain a closed system. In case of inotropic infusions, do not attempt to disrupt the flow at any time. Place soiled linen in a linen bag, keeping it away from your body. Cleanse the eyes, nose, and ears using a wipe with water. Remove a single pre-moistened cloth from the warm package and begin by cleansing the face. Avoid contact with the patient's eyes. Then cleanse the neck, paying particular attention to the skin folds. Remove a clean cloth from the package and cleanse the exposed arm and hand. With firm, long strokes, Cleanse the arm from the wrist to the upper arm, leaving the axilla untouched. Cleanse the hand, paying particular attention to interdigital spaces. Use caution around IV sites, dressings, and non-intact skin. If needed, you may change the dressing after the procedure. Using a clean cloth, Cleanse the other arm and hand in the same manner. Expose only the area to be cleansed to provide privacy and maintain warmth. Fold the bath blanket or towel that is over the patient's chest down to the umbilicus. Obtain a clean cloth and cleanse the chest and abdomen using long firm strokes. Using a clean cloth, cleanse the axilla last. Discard used cloth with the gloves. Do hand hygiene and don new gloves. Expose the near leg, ensuring that the perineal area and the other leg remain draped. Remove a clean cloth from the package and cleanse the exposed leg using long firm strokes from the ankle to the knee and then from the knee to the thigh. Assess the leg for signs of DVT, 
such as warmth, redness, discoloration, swelling, tenderness, or pain. Using a clean cloth, cleanse the foot, paying special attention to the area between the toes. Using a clean cloth, cleanse the opposite limb in the same manner. Remove a clean cloth from the package and cleanse the perineal area. Use an extra pack of fresh disposable cloths or use washcloths with soap and water and towel if needed for excessive soiling. If fecal material is present, enclose the waste in a fold of under pad or toilet tissue. Additional disposable bath cloths may be needed for cleansing. Dispose of the tissue or wipes in an appropriate waste container. Remove used cloth with gloves, perform hand hygiene, and don new gloves. Untuck the bed sheet. Support the head during turning while ensuring that all tubes and lines are secured. As part of infection prevention, make sure to clamp the urinary cat whenever the urinary bag is above the bladder. Remove a clean cloth from the package and cleanse the patient's back using long firm strokes. Perform skin assessment. Using clean cloth, cleanse the buttocks and rectal area. Do not massage any reddened area. Rinsing is not needed when using disposable wet wipes or check the manufacturer's instructions. Remove gloves, perform hand hygiene, and don new gloves. Wipe the other side of the bed with proper surface cleaning material. Let it dry. Remove gloves, perform hand hygiene, and don new gloves. Place the clean linen, draw sheet, and under pad on the near side. Turn the patient to the opposite side. Remove the dirty linen and place it in a linen bag while keeping away from your body. Wipe the bed with proper surface cleaning material. Put the patient in supine position. Tuck the bottom sheet under the mattress. Avoid overstretching and tying from end to end as this can cause shearing. Place the clean gown on the patient. In order to prevent disconnection of lines, it is acceptable not to put the sleeves on for unconscious patients. Check the function and position of external devices. Assess patient's tolerance to the procedure. Discard supplies. Remove PPE. Perform hand hygiene. Performing bed bath with soap and water. Fill the basin two-thirds full with warm water. Check the water temperature. Bring the basin to the bedside. If the patient is conscious, have him test temperature tolerance with his or her fingers. A safe water temperature for bathing an adult is approximately 37 degrees Celsius. Use a dry wipe, dip it in warm water, Put an adequate amount of 2% chlorhexidine soap. Do not dilute chlorhexidine in water. Cleanse with soap every body part following the same steps as previously shown from clean to dirtiest. After soap is applied to all body parts, rinse with water and pat dry with bath towel each body part before proceeding to another. Adequately use water to rinse off the soap from the body but do not pour the water directly on the patient to avoid overflowing or pooling of water on the bed surface. Ensure hand hygiene and changing of gloves are performed after cleansing dirtiest parts such as axilla, groin, and perineum. Make sure to change the water after it becomes soiled or soapy.